Hello and welcome to the more LEGO bootleg reviews. We're doing more Star Wars today and we have Cassie and Andor from the Andor TV show. Look, um, pretty sure we're not gonna get any more Andor sets because it's quite adult or dark, I guess. So we got some Rogue One stuff. We got one Andor set, but that wasn't very good. That was possibly the most boring set that they could have chosen. A really boring Imperial transport ship thingy. It was yeah, but anyway, here's an Andor figure. Printed, 360 degrees, looks pretty good, and good skin color too. Next up, it has supposed to be a uh, Lufin, um, I guess. I mean, he's wearing a hood and stuff, but it doesn't quite look like him. It's a very detailed figure, a very nice figure, but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like him. Next up, we have the bad guy of the show, Zero Zero. And uh, yeah, he's got his first planet uniform on him, which he comes looks like a train conductor. It's supposed to work with Tom the Tank Engine or something, but it's a very nicely designed suit. Unfortunately, he's got two faces on him, and the back just doesn't get covered up. I actually prefer the worried face. He's like, oh crap, I gotta go live with my mom again and eat purple cereal in space. And this one, this one, they just call this Leaper as an Imperial officer, but um, he's got Andrew Garfield Spider Man here for some reason. Um, I, I searched for him, but uh, it's just... They must have had the wrong name or something. I'm trying to think back to the show, but um, he could be any of the Imperial officers. So, I mean, if you want extra Imperial officers, this is a very nicely done figure. And for some reason, next week we have just uh, solo movie figures. We've got a Minban or Miniban uh, Stormtrooper, which the official LEGO one is very nice. I love the colors on that a lot. But the one we have, this blue leg one, is also really, really good with this cape. The coloring and the print on this is really good. And he has a proper, like, big blaster there. Generic face underneath. I mean, if you want more Milbound Stormtroopers, this is a good way to get them in army build. We have a Milbound, like, like soldier. So, um, originally in the Lego set, you got a Han Solo just up in this disguise. Even though the face is so generic, it could be any Imperial officer. It doesn't necessarily have to be Han Solo. Uh, wearing this disguise. Again, 360 degree print, very good blaster, very good figure. And we have an officer, the same, also for the solo movie, printed all the way around. And uh, the face is covered a bit better. <laughs> very nicely printed. I like these a lot. And finally, we have a bodybuilder stormtrooper. No, a dirtied up stormtrooper. With all these armor pack things. I'm not a fan of these on like generic soldiers and stuff. These are okay for special characters, you know, such as heavier or bigger characters, but for generic ones, I prefer just regular torso. And it's good that it's still printed underneath. The details are very nice. So, you know, you got options there. Stormtroopers printed all the way around 360 degrees. Generic face underneath. But a really, really cool face, actually. But, but yeah, if you want to army build like a dirty, desert, muddy sort of stormtroopers, I guess that's why they mix hand all with Solo, because they're from a the similar time span or era, and they both have really dirtied up and roughed up stormtroopers, which mix in really well. This is a great way to army build dirty up stormtroopers, you know, see that a lot as well as Mubaan troopers and different Imperial officers. And the Andor figure is also pretty decent, as well as this guy here. So you got the three main figures from the official LEGO set, if you don't want to get that ugly ship. They are also here. Pretty awesome sets. Subscribe to just comment below, because take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now.